less cheating. No. It's time to take a wild ride back to the past. Sit back and relax and enjoy this episode of Memory Lane. That table can only mean one thing, something crazy is about to happen. And here we are with a game.com, and we're going to be playing some game.com. And I actually bought a replacement game.com. Same box. But, with my luck, the first game.com that I had <coughs> had some uh, screen issues, and this one right here has some screen issues. So yeah, kind of wasted my money. Just a little bit. It looks a little bit better. So yeah, we're going to be checking out some games here. We're going to check out Resident Evil 2. I don't know what that was. Let's pop the game in here. Something spilled over there. <clears throat> Alright, so... Look at that big, huge, gray display right there. Check this out. I'm going to choose the Resident Evil 2 cartridge. And the cartridge pops into like a, what appears to be like a space station or something. Like some crazy stuff going on. And the uh, sound is quite loud on it. You can actually hear the speech on it. It said Resident Evil 2. That's pretty freaking awesome. All right. You get the little introduction of Resident Evil 2. Let's see if we can get rid of that stupid reflection or glare, whatever that is. Damn you. Alright, well, that didn't work out. It's so hard situating where I want to record this. So, let's see if we can get it right there. Perfect. Per a little bit. It's not perfect, but... Alright, let's see if we can zoom in here. Maybe just up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Resident Evil 2. Let's play Resident Evil 2. And the, oh my god, what the hell is that? What button do I push? I'm getting eaten up. Oh my god. What the hell button do I push? Oh, awkward controls. Get off of me. You can hear the sound effects. That's interesting. So you have to you have to hold down C to aim and wait. How's that work? Okay, you have to press C to aim your weapon and push A to shoot. Okay, now I understand. <laughs> so yeah, this is Resident Evil on the Tiger Electronic Game dot com. It's actually quite impressive. The frame rate sucks, but. This came out in like, what, 97, 98? So for what it's worth, it's actually quite impressive. Let me see if, if you can actually play with the contrast here. Oh, that's cool, that's better. You can see like all the little details, like that little dumpster right there. That is much better. Yeah, check that out. Resident Evil 2. On a handheld. There is a little bit of a defect on the screen still, but it's. I guess these systems were plagued with that problem. I tried to take mine apart and fix it, and I made it worse, so I had to buy a new one right here. This one is definitely slightly better. Okay, so we have to get to that door right there. All right, we're opening up a door, and you definitely just like the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn version. Actually, Resident Evil 2 wasn't on Sega Saturn, my bad. It was on Nintendo 64. And this looks quite familiar, it's that little storefront. So it looks like they did a pretty damn impressive uh, port. I mean, it looks like you, you have to aim Shoot this zombie right here. <laughs> Don't waste all your ammo. Yeah, take that, you son of a bitch. 
yeah, it's a little storefront, and then you have to walk over here. Okay, don't walk backwards. It's not perfect, but at the same time, it's very, very impressive. I'm pretty sure you can walk behind that desk. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a door here. Let's just walk out the door. Alright, so here we are in the alleyway. It, it kind of resembles just like the uh, the console version of the game. So a little watered down. It's not, you can hear the zombies. That's pretty cool. You can hear the gunshots. The sound effects are actually uh, not bad for a handheld. I mean, the sound is literally coming out of that speaker right there. It actually sounds... Oh my god, what the hell is that? Let me see if I can close that box right there so we can get better sound. You hear the box moving around because I'm getting all anxious here. It looks like we have an ambulance. Alright, there's nothing in that ambulance, I guess. <laughs> you figured there'd be a, tons of medical supplies over there. Kinda kinda need that right now. What do I have here for, uh, I believe that's, I think that's, uh, ammunition or something? Let's see if we can open up the gate right here. It's going to be the gate to hell. I end up going through here and you never know what the hell is going to happen. It's Resident Evil. Open Sesame. Okay. So yeah, when you play this game, it's a, it's a bit sluggish. You have to pretty much make sure you... Okay, we have another zombie right here. It's a basketball court. Oh, he's aiming in the wrong direction. Bastard. He's eating me! Wait, did I die? <laughs> Look at the, the game.com blood. <laughs> you die. That was, uh... <laughs> Quite impressive. It was actually, uh, I'm not good at it, I'll admit that, but I'll give it credit for what it's worth. It's definitely a very impressive late 90s, um, gray scaled handheld version of Resident Evil 2. Um, I, I would prefer the frame rate to be better, but yeah, that's actually quite impressive. <laughs> I cannot complain about it at all, really, too much. It's on Game.com. There wasn't really too many good games on Game.com, and this... I would probably consider an okay game. You just have to get used to it. It's not the greatest, but it's better than not. At least there is a version of this that exists. Look at the title screen, that's awesome. Oh yeah, Game.com has a bunch of different buttons down here, so... Let's give it a try one more time, I guess. Until the battery in the camera dies. Now we have a better idea how to shoot. Yeah, take that, you son of a bitch. It's kind of funny that they slow down the frame rate on the game because you know, you know those Tiger Electronic handhelds, the uh, liquid crystal ones that there's a whole bunch of them that exist for various. Oh my god, I'm getting eaten alive! What the hell? Well, the uh, the old liquid crystal handhelds, Tiger Electronic, they they moved around like that too, except. They were only able to have like one screen. That was it, like one frame, like one background, everything, pretty much. You know, it's kind of funny that this game moves around just like that, kind of. It's, it's not bad. I mean, it's nice to see that Tiger Electronic made an attempt at a cartridge-based handheld. That's actually pretty cool.
The, the controls are a little difficult. I'll be the first one to admit that. It's kind of hard to make them walk in right in the, the exact spot that he's supposed to. Come on, get over there. And the uh, doors open much like the console version. That's pretty cool. They got the zombie. Oh, what the hell is that? Get off of me, bastard. Now, apparently, there's another version of. Uh, Resident Evil on a little small handheld that I believe is made by Tiger also. I don't I really don't know too much about that game, but I think I saw someone playing that once a long time ago in my school. I mean I think it was middle school or maybe early high school. And, uh, yeah, so this is Resident Evil 2 for Tigergame.com. Not a well received handheld, but it, it came out around the same time as Sega Saturn, so you can see they kind of stole the uh, Sega Saturn logo right there. Uh, nonetheless, I'll give credit where credit's due. It's somewhat impressive that they were able to pull this off on a handheld. It's uh, not perfect, but yeah, this is literally Resident Evil 2 on a handheld. Uh, there's definitely a lot of stuff missing from it, but it's still pretty damn impressive. If you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, don't forget. Give... <laughs> I don't know how to talk sometimes. Oh my god! Take that! Take that! So, like I was gonna say, if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below. And stay tuned for more crazy. Game.com games, because you never know what you're going to see next. <laughs> yeah, like what he said.